je viens Irlande, d'Irlande. Um, that's terrible, it's wrong. It started at a very, very young age. Um, it, I think it started as soon as I was born, to be honest. Um, my mother said that uh, when a certain theme tune would come on on the TV or the radio when she was pregnant that I would kick her tummy in time with the music and then I came out and I was whistling before I could speak these are the things I'm told and uh, my first contact with music was um, when my father gave me a guitar when I was I think six months old but it was a toy, it was like a teddy bear or something. And um, ever since then, I've always had music around me. I've always sang to myself. And eventually I turned that into writing music and eventually into a career. Yeah, I, can, I compose uh, all the music and the lyrics and uh, I arrange it and then there's a post arrangement, a full arrangement made with my band. Um, it's basically just an, I go through the entire song in my head, how it would sound, uh, the tonal elements of the instruments, uh, the sound of the rooms in which they're recorded and uh, I build it all up and orchestrate it in my head and then bring it to the band and uh, we just flesh it out together, put it all together. Um, specific themes that I've used um, in, this, in this record. Mm. Um, well, I can tell you the themes, it, they're very wide, it's a very wide spectrum of what I've decided to talk about in this album. Um, in terms of personal, uh, the lyrics are sometimes uh, like um, very uh, sarcastic towards myself, kind of self-deprecating. I'm not. I'm trying to change my life. Um, trying to wake myself up. Um, but this is like ten percent of what's really happening on the record, which is about like singing through the voices of the people that I've met over the last forever really and growing up as an adult in western culture and understanding new politics and the way of the world and the environment and uh, social issues and gender issues and uh, yeah so um, it's become a wider kind of social perspective upon the world I suppose viewed through these characters that I've met over the last uh, four years. I have uh, many idols in the music business. Um, quite a lot of them would be uh, possibly unknown. I think it's the people in the background, um, like such as crewmen, lighting people, the people who build up stages and build down stages and work from day in, day out, and um, they're in the background. Um, there, uh, I have a lot of respect, and uh, I have a lot of respect for people who stay true to their their um, ideals and don't give in to uh, modern pressure in the music business, such as uh, my management team. They're very, uh, they're very strong-minded and confident people, and they're not afraid to take chances. Um, so that's their idols as well. And people that you may know of would be like the likes of um, Nina Simone or Ani DeFranco, um, Anais Mitchell, and uh, Connor J. O'Brien from Villagers is also very inspiring. Yeah. Um, I didn't take any lessons until I was about 23. Uh, up to that point, um, I just developed my own style. Uh, I just found how a guitar resonates and what I liked. Uh, many people use a guitar in a different way, such as, you know, they play it like this. Or 
you know, it's it's a uh, the whole thing resonates. So, um, I think it was just a matter of like throwing the guitar around and doing this with it, or putting things inside the body, that I developed a style of playing. Mostly, my style is kind of is rhythm heavy and quite percussive. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's just it was just to kind of find a style that suited me, that sounded, that covered as many aspects of a band sound as possible, such as a drum kit, a bass line, and um, as many harmonic elements within the notes as possible. So that that's where I developed my style. What advice I would give? Um, I th I often get a bit scared about giving advice because I think you need to make your own mistakes to know. Um, I certainly have made my mistakes and what I learned from that was to not take it so seriously um, because it can get all very stressful and at the end of the day it's about creating something that makes you feel good or makes you feel something emotionally. and. There's no criteria on that. A lot of people will try and put you into a box so they can sell you, make some money maybe. And that's that's when the music business comes into it. So if you're serious about being creative, keep your cool head, just play, just enjoy it and do what you wanna do. And uh, yeah, don't believe anything anyone says to you unless you see it on paper and <laughs> Um, stick to your guns, yeah. Um, I love reading. Um, I read as many books as I can in a year. It could be up to about 30, if I'm lucky, if I have the time. And I love walking and cycling, uh, sex, um, having good food, meeting friends, um, painting, drawing more so than painting, um, and I like to dance. Do you cook? Love cooking as well, <laughs> love it. I make things like um, pasta with a mushroom sauce and like mandarin in there, and mandarin and almond and stuff. Just really strange things like, <laughs> I like, not everybody likes my food, but I love cooking. I do, yeah. Uh, after the 4th of April and Val Casino is um, a couple more gigs. Like I'll have another tour in autumn, which we're booking right now. So I'll do two dates in France, uh, hopefully one in Clermont-Ferrand and uh, here in Paris again, so it, it, it will be nice. Yeah. Um, je voudrais un petit point, s'il vous plaît. <laughs> Merci, au revoir.